Today we're going to talk about using your smartphone camera that has a panoramic picture capture option to take images of glass slides that you can format to look like a whole slide scan. So the important things here are that you have a stabilizing device that adapts your smartphone to the eyepiece. You use a stage and you select your tissue so that your tissue is oriented either perpendicular or parallel to the frame so that when you scroll with your stage, you're going in one direction and your panoramic function can capture it. So I've selected this piece of skin. It has an epidermis that will fill in my 2x frame and it's running directly perpendicular to the long edge of my slide. So I'm going to put my slide on my stage. I'm going to turn on my camera. My camera's in the panoramic function, so you have to select your panoramic function, and then you have to rotate your camera on the eyepiece so that it starts in the direction that you want to take your panoramic function. So this is an iPhone, and this particular panoramic function starts at one end and moves towards the top of the field, which works perfectly if I want to scroll with my stage in this direction. If you can't figure it out, you can always try starting the panoramic, scrolling, and seeing what happens. It'll be pretty obvious to see when it doesn't go well. For this, we're going to make sure we're in focus. And then we're going to start. And then when we're done, we're going to stop. Now you've noticed that when, both when I started and when I stopped capturing this panoramic, I made sure that the edge of the tissue was kind of in the center of this vignetted circular frame, and that'll be important when we get to cropping it. So you can change the direction of your panorama and move in the other direction. Just take the same image twice. Now here's where it gets interesting. You go into your edit function. Depending on the function of your phone, you can either do this on your phone or you can do this in, a, in the computer as using software like Photoshop or Paint. So here's the image that I have. You can see the vignetting is around the outside edges, but my tissue is nice. So I can use my edit functions to crop it. And this is where you can see that by making sure that that tissue starts and ends in the center of the vignetted frames, when I crop out the vignette, I'm not cropping out any tissue. So when I crop this and hit save, the final product is going to look an awful lot like a whole slide image. And that's how you use your smartphone your adapter, and a stage with any microscope to take full slide images with your phone.